All you're gonna need today is a mat and a set of dumbbells. So ready, let's go. Hello and welcome back to my channel. I am Carmen, AKA Parisian Chic. And if you are a new subscriber, hello, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. Today, we are going to be working on another circuit that's focused on the core, which is my absolute favorite muscle to train. So before we get started, make sure you like and subscribe and let's get started with today's circuit. Our first exercise is gonna be loaded marches. So holding our dumbbells down at our side, keeping our core nice and engaged, we're gonna drive that knee up to waist height and we're going to switch. Keep going in a marching position. Again, keeping your core nice and tight and engaged and continue through the full minute time. Now make sure you pace yourself. Again, it's not for speed, it's for form. Make sure your core is engaged. Make sure you're not hunting your shoulders. Keep those shoulders nice and tight and engaged at your side. Our next exercise is going to be a dumbbell goblet squat. So you're gonna be holding your dumbbell in a goblet position right under your chin, um, right above your chest, keeping your core nice and tight and engaged. We're gonna sit down in our squat, pushing our bottom back like we're sitting down in a chair and coming up, pushing through our heels and engaging our glutes at the top of that motion. Our next exercise is gonna be our inchworm or walkout planks. So standing at the top of our mat, we're going to reach down towards the ground, keeping our legs nice and tight and engaged, walking our hands all the way out until we get to our plank position and then walking them all the way back. The goal is to not bend our knees and let our core keep ourselves balanced and do all the work. A modified option is to bend your knees as you're reaching your hands down to the ground to walk out to your plank position and then walking back. Again, it's not for speed, it's for motion, keeping your core nice and tight and engaged and controlling the motion all throughout the duration of the circuit. Our next movement's going to be an elbow plank oblique crunch, but I call it the Spider-Man crunch. So in order to tell you what the movement is, let me explain why I call it the Spider-Man plank. So you're in your elbow plank position and imagine how would Spider-Man crawl up a building? He would crawl right and then left. So you're gonna take your knee and crunch towards the outside of your elbow, engaging your outer oblique, and then you're gonna keep switching sides. Our next movement is going to be a dumbbell dead bug. So laying on our backs with our knees bent at 90 degree angle, we're gonna hold our dumbbell directly above our head and keep that stabilized and engaged throughout the movement. We're going to alternate dropping each leg to an extension and then back into that 90 degree stance, then moving to the opposite leg, dropping to an extension, and then back to the 90 degree stance, keeping our core nice and controlled and engaged throughout the movement. We're not doing it for speed, it's just maintaining that nice controlled motion, stabilizing our whole body as we're engaging through each of these movements. If you're continuing with the circuit, make sure you take one minute to rest and then repeat at the top of the sequence. If this is where your workout ends for the day, thanks so much for joining. You did an amazing job. Make sure you hit the like button and subscribe and we'll see you again next time.